what's up guys so i'm out here on the range with my 68 spc i'm gonna be setting up some gel down there at 100 yards and doing some more testing today i got two cavity back bullets we got the 105 grain mkz here and the 120 they look identical except for the 120 has lost its shine from sitting in my hunting backpack for a year um, recently just redid the 68 um, new handguard new scope new gun skin and everything i'll go over that with you guys later but for now let's see the difference between these two bullets so from a 16 inch barrel we are pushing the 120 at 2550 feet per second and the 105 at 2700 feet per second so this will be a good uh, test to see the difference between uh, speed and mass so let's see what happens with the gel Alright guys, so I got the 120 grain cavity back, sitting back there, so it came in, a little bit of a neck, nice large wound channel, for comparison, these are two wound channels from a 6.5 Creedmoor, that's the 6.8, and the bullet stopped right there, looks like a nice perfect mushroom, we are maybe just under halfway through that block, so 23-24 inches of penetration, alright, now time to try out the 105s. All right, guys, so not having good luck with these 105s. Nailed the gel perfectly. Just aiming, trying to go above it this time, the 120 this time, and I hit the block, but the block, I guess, was just slightly crooked, and it came out the side, so I did not capture that bullet. Either. All right, guys, so I was actually able to capture a 105 this time, and surprisingly, it actually went further than the 120. I've been using the 120s for a while because I thought they'd give me better penetration on stuff like bear, but maybe not. Unfortunately, I hit like right on top of the 120 wound channel, so it's hard to differentiate them, but I do have the video of the 120 before that shot. All right, guys, so we got the gel home. So you can see here, the 105 did go a little bit further, and I'm gonna assume that it probably didn't expand as wide. The petals peeled back, kind of, and flattened that around the bullet. Um, but that bullet stopped at 26 inches. 120 we are at about 22 and a half inches now it sucks you can't really see the difference in the wound channels right here because i stacked them right on top of each other but if you look right about so right about the 10 inch mark the 105 is starting to calm down where the 120 in the back is still um, looking pretty wide so when i do these tests i don't, never actually sight in whatever bullet i'm testing i just don't have the time or the money to actually sight in so i'll take a shot at a target to just check point of impact and then adjust for that when i'm shooting the gel so these bolts are both two inches low and right so i adjusted perfect for the 120 um the first shot with the 105 would have been good if the gel blocks were perfectly straight but they weren't and then the second shot i stacked it right on top um so luckily i was able to get a screenshot of the gel right after i shot the uh, the 105 so you could see the 120 and the 105 so i will show that to you guys in a second so you can look at it now it looks like there's a decent sized neck like we got like a two inch neck before they open up um, and i think that that's just a clear gel i've mentioned that in my videos before this stuff the elasticity it's very strong so those hollow points they're going to kind of punch in a good bit before they break that surface tension and at that point they'll start to expand when the hollow point fills up with the gel but i've shot a squirrel with the 120 and the exit wound was like the size of a tangerine so it expanded on a squirrel and all the deer I've shot, the entry wounds into the the rib cage, the bullet was already expanding. So I don't think there's really a two inch neck on game. Um, and I have tested the 120 quite extensively. Um, so I will link, I'll show you guys those videos at the end. Um, that was kind of before I was posting videos, so I never actually got around to posting those. But I have shot those a bunch into regular organic gel from 30 yards to 300 yards. So I will show you guys that stuff after we dig out these bullets and take a look at them. All right, so no need to really weigh these, but we will anyway. So we got the 120, 119.9, and the 105, 
seven. So I'm gonna say that's probably the uh, the scale, unless this thing just shed the tiniest piece of copper. So if you look at these two, you can definitely see it looks like the 120 got a little bit wider. Now the 120 just peeled back kind of nice and flat, where this 105, those pedals peeled all the way back down around the bullet. So let's take a little measurement. All right, 0 0.55. Let's see if I can get a little bit wider. There we go, 0 0.605. 629. So that is why I like these bolts. I mean, that's well over two times expansion. I can't do the math in my head to tell you exactly what it is, but let's see this guy. So, 6.5. Four, let's go this way. There we go. Seven one. So that is just that's massive expansion. Generally, you'll see you know a two seven seven bullet expand to half an inch or so. But I mean, this is close to three quarters of an inch. When I was shooting these into the organic gel, I did get some to expand a touch wider. But different uh, media testing is going to yield different results. So yeah, that's why it's point. You're at point seven one. So the one twenty did get. A little bit wider expansion which is why i didn't penetrate as far which is surprising because my 6a is kind of my multi-purpose gun i use it for deer bear whatever um it's my gun i use when i'm hiking around the woods so i always went with the 120 figuring it would give me more expansion i mean more penetration over the 105s which it didn't but you know there's always a cost so it seemed like the wound channel from the 120 seemed to carry a little bit deeper than the 105 uh, the 105 settled down a little bit quicker but it's wider in the beginning so there's always trade-offs. It's really hard to say what bullet would be better. I think the 120 with the higher BC would be better long range, but the 105 would be a little bit flatter. So always pros and cons. So I'm going to show you guys some of the footage now of my other tests and stuff. And uh, like always, guys, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.